transformed. O oh, you who hear prayer, to you shall all flesh come. When iniquities prevail against me, you atone for our transgressions. Blessed is the one you choose and bring near to dwell in your courts. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of your house, the holiness of your temple. By awesome deeds you answer us with righteousness. O God of our salvation, the hope of all the ends of the earth and of the farthest seas, the one who by his strength established the mountains, being girded with might, who stills the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, the tumult of the peoples, so that those who dwell at the ends of the earth are in awe of your signs. You make the going out of the morning and the evening to shout for joy. Lord, we thank you for the scripture. We ask that revelation would come. We ask that melodies from heaven would come. We want to we want to see Jesus in the scripture this morning. We want to see the Son of Man, the Son of God. Reveal him to us through your word. Praise is due to you, O God, in Zion. Praise is due to you, O God, in Zion. Lord, we gladly bring you praise this morning. It is our joy to open our mouth. It is our joy to recount all that you have done. Praise is due to your name. There is no other name like yours. There's no name at which every knee will bow and every tongue confess. And we will praise that name. We will give thanks to that name. We will honor that name. We will put that name above every other thing in our lives. It will be what is at the center of our decisions. It will be what is at the center of our reality. And we give you praise this morning. Praise is due to your name. Thank you, Lord. All blessing and honor, all glory and power be unto your name oh, all blessing and honor all glory and power be unto your name oh Jesus all blessing and honor all glory and power be unto your name 
prevail against me, you atone for our transgressions. Lord, we thank you for the atonement of Christ. We thank you that, that when you see us, you see your son. You see the blood of the beautiful sacrifice, of the perfect sacrifice that has transformed us, that has made us white as snow. Thank you that the sins of our past do not define us, but the sacrifice of Christ, his righteousness, is what defines us now. We thank you that when those, when those past sins, when those iniquities try to come against us, we can stand firm in the atonement that has been made for us, the atonement of Jesus, the sacrificial lamb, that our past cannot come and separate us from you, that our, our, our mistakes, our failings cannot come and separate us from you because we have the atonement we have the sacrificial lamb. We have access to the Father because of his perfect blood, because of his precious blood. Thank you, Jesus, for your blood and what it has done in our lives. Thank you, Lord. With every blow, my sins are washed away. With every stripe, with every blow, my sins are washed away. With every stripe, with every blow, oh, my sins are washed away. With every stripe, with every sins are washed away with every stripe with every For 
for every blow oh, my lips will sing your praise blessed is the one you choose and bring near to dwell in your courts we shall be satisfied with the goodness of your house the holiness of your temple God we thank you that it was it was you who chose us it was you who chose us that you chose us first that you brought us near in your kindness and your goodness you made a way you made a way to the Father you made a way to life everlasting you made a way to eternity that you brought us near you chose to bring us near you chose for us to dwell in your courts God would this knowledge bring such peace and satisfaction would we have satisfaction in the goodness of your house and the holiness of your temple the goodness of who you are the holiness of your character would have satisfaction satisfaction in you and only in you Together forever 
by your blood, Jesus. You made a way, you made a way, Jesus. Oh, you made a way for us. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you for your sacrifice, Jesus. We thank you for crucifixion your resurrection oh we thank you for your sacrifice Jesus it's only by your blood Jesus you made a way you made a way oh you made a way for To enter the holy place, you made a way for me. To enter the holy place, you made a way for me. To enter the shall be satisfied in the goodness of your house we shall be satisfied in the goodness of your house the holiness of your temple we want to be satisfied in you this morning Jesus got anyone in the room who just feels a, a lack of satisfaction or a restlessness Lord we ask for your spirit to come and minister to their hearts where we sit right here, God, ultimate satisfaction in you, peace in you, rest in you. Thank you, Lord, that we can truly, all of our needs, they can be met by you. All of our desires, they can be fulfilled by you. We shall be satisfied, satisfied, not looking anywhere else not trying to, to go to do, to do something else, to, to be with someone else. We will be satisfied in your goodness, in your goodness. Thank you, Jesus. Satisfied, Jesus. Oh, only you satisfy, Jesus. My heart, oh, only you satisfy, Jesus. You satisfy our hearts, our deepest desires. Oh, only you satisfy, Jesus. Jesus. Satisfied, oh, only you satisfy 
satisfied with the goodness of your house, the holiness of your temple. We shall be satisfied in your presence. 
shall be satisfied in friendship with you. Thank you for satisfaction. Thank you, Jesus. God, I ask that you would establish your goodness in our hearts this morning, that we would never question your goodness, God, for the rest of our lives. When tragedies come, you're still good. When, when we lose people that we love, you're still good. When things don't go our way, you're still good. When we have a bad day, you are still good. May the goodness of God be established in our hearts. Would it be an immovable foundation for us to grow in, for us to base our life in, our decisions on, that God is good, that God is always good. He will never leave us nor forsake us, that we can trust His goodness is, is coming after us. His mercy is searching us down. It's following us. God, establish that you are good in our hearts. And for the next 20, 30, 40 years, would we hold on to it? Would we hold on to it through all life's ups and downs? You are good. Satisfied with the goodness of the Lord, the goodness of your house. Jesus, oh, what a friend. 
friend we have in Jesus. What a friend we have in Jesus. Oh, what a friend we have in Jesus. And what a friend we have in Jesus. What a friend we have in Jesus. Oh, how can it be? I have a friend in the King of Kings. And oh, how can it be? I have a friend. for this opportunity to be in your presence this morning God we don't take it lightly we thank you that where that where the worship is your presence is drawn yes, to Jesus. it yes and so this morning we 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 realize we're stepping into a, a holy moment yes Lord. not just run-of-the-mill it's a privilege to come and worship you it's a privilege yes, to gather together yes. it's a privilege to stand next to others who are redeemed by the same sacrificial lamb, who, whose Lord is the same Lord, whose King is the same King. God, we ask for unity to well up in the room for us to realize we get a chance to open up our mouths and corporately sing to the God of the universe to worship the one who was and is and is to come. Welcome to Tuesday morning. We're gonna jump into worship. Could all of you guys stand up? If you guys are online, we kind of have a Devo set and then we go into a moment of worship and finish with intercession, Tuesday morning greenhouse. How many of you guys from the CRX here? Are you here? The faithful, thank you guys so much for being here. I'm really excited as I was driving over here um, this morning, I just felt this, um, this understanding of it is a privilege to gather here. I remember so many years where I did not have this kind of community to worship the Lord as often as we are able to do here in Circuit Riders. And so would you step into that reality that it is a privilege to stand with other men and women who are on fire for Jesus, who have laid down everything to pursue Him. That fragrance, that offering to the Lord moves His heart. And I believe that this morning, we only got a few weeks left, right? And my dad would always say, Jake, doesn't matter how you start the race, it's how you finish it. You gotta finish strong. And so I implore all of us this morning, let us finish with strength. Let us stir our souls to worship the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. So go ahead and come to the front if you want to. Come to the front. I always say the presence of God hits the people in the front first, just like a wave crashing, right? 
I've seen it too, man. I've seen it. Lord, we love you. We look to you this morning. You are our focus. You are our focus. You are our main reason for existence. You're, you're the reason that we're here. We're not just here to check a box to say that we came. We're here because we want to meet with you. And we want to give you the glory that you're due. We love you, King Jesus. We worship you this morning.
deserve it all We give you the highest praise You deserve it all You deserve it all We give you the highest praise You deserve it all You deserve it all With every breath Oh
worshiping, I just felt felt an unction from the Lord. Can we gather in twos and threes and just confess with our mouth in the presence of our friends how thankful for the blood that we Come are? On. Genuinely, can, can we just say, Jesus, without your blood, we wouldn't be here. Without your blood, we'd still be stuck in our past life. Without your blood, we wouldn't be able to come into the Holy of Holies. Can we begin to, to give thanks and gratitude? Say it out loud. Everything that you're thankful for, for the blood of Jesus. Just pour it out, pour it out, pour it out. Everybody take a turn. Don't let someone else pray your prayer. Don't let someone else say what you're thankful for. Say it to God himself. Let him hear it. Pour it out. Pour it out. Tell him how much you love. Tell him how much you appreciate the blood of Jesus this morning. worship let's re-engage lord we thank you for your blood we thank you for the revelation of your blood this morning thank you that it washes us white as snow thank you that it speaks a better word thank you for the goodness of the cross thank you for the nail pierced hands thank you for the crown of thorns thank you for the the side that was pierced thank you for the blood that was spilled out Thank you that you were the sacrificial lamb. Thank you, Lord, for your blood. Thank you that it changed our lives. Thank you that it tore the veil. Thank you that it made a way to the Father. Thank you, Lord, for the blood of Jesus. May we be quick to remember the blood of Christ. May we be quick to thank you for the blood spilled on our behalf. Thank you that you, we no longer receive the punishment for our sins, but you took the punishment of death on yourself. Thank you for that blood. Thank you for standing in the way and taking what was rightfully ours. We thank you for the blood of Jesus. Let's continue to worship. Thank you, Lord. Give a shout to Jesus for the cross, for the blood today. We thank you, Jesus made a way so that we could come in. Hallelujah. 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 I keep singing worshiping. So we're going to do firm foundation this morning. I know we did it yesterday, but 
it was actually on the set list before they actually did it, praise God. So, we're just going to sing this out. Christ is my firm foundation. The rock on which I stand When everything around me is shaking Oh, I've never been more glad That I put my faith in Jesus He's never let me down He's faithful through generations So I
That's the truth this morning. That He won't fail. I feel like some of us in here are saying this and like, yeah, I know He won't fail in this area, but maybe this area that's a little bit more difficult. Or maybe you're struggling with finances. Maybe you're struggling with this. Maybe you're struggling with that. But I want to stand here and say that this is the truth this morning. That He won't fail. That's the reality this morning. That no matter your circumstances, no matter what you're going through, He won't fail. So I want to sing this out. If you are in that place, if you're in the wrestle, I want this to wash over you. Because this is scripture that He won't fail. He won't stop now. The Bible says that He is a man that shall not lie. And he won't ever fail. So we're going to sing this again. He won't. So if, that, if that's you, just receive this. He won't. Thank you, Lord. He won't fail. He won't fail. He won't. He won't. He won't. make it through, Lord. 
We thank you for that promise, Lord.
Oh God, my God, I need you now. How I need you now. Oh rock, oh rock of ages, I'm standing on your faithfulness. On your faithfulness. overwhelmed when I remember that God hears my words to him that is so crazy to me sometimes he's always listening and he's not just listening he also moves when we ask him to do something when it agrees with his will so this morning we're gonna move from worship into intercession and what's crazy to think about is God is gonna hear every single one of your prayers and he's not just gonna be like, oh, sounds good. He's gonna be like, oh, bet, let's go to work then. I'm ready to move, I'm ready to respond, right? I'm ready to make it happen. So this morning we felt led to pray for high schools and the high school tour. How many of you guys are going on the high school tour? Anybody in here? I see you, I see you. We wanna pray from Joshua 1 verse 9 and I feel like it just makes sense. Because the, the God of the Old Testament is the God of the New Testament, right? We can read Joshua and know that God's still the same God, amen? Amen, I need someone, hey, you understand that? I, I feel like the Old Testament gets a bad rap. It's not old. It's still God. It's still good. It's still Him. We can learn from it, all right? Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Point number one. Can we get it up on the screen? <clears throat> when God commands his people to do something, he gives along with the command a measure of grace to achieve it. So God's not going to command a high schooler, reach your, reach your school without giving them the grace to see that school reach. Does that make sense? Can we pray for students who are taking up the call to reach their campus to receive grace, to be a fully obedient to the Lord. That's point number one. So let's go ahead and stand up, everybody engage. We got 25 more minutes. We got 25 more minutes to pray, to rend heaven. I want you to get in groups, and I want you to pray this, this part of the scripture out. Have I not commanded you? God has commanded so many young people all across the nation. I want you to reach your school. Will we pray that the grace to obey would be on them this morning. Let's pray it out. Come on, everybody all across the room. Begin to pray that the grace of God would land on those students to reach their campus.
two. Can we get point number two up there? I felt like the Lord wanted us to take a sledgehammer to fear. I know you guys love to bash on fear. It's stolen so much from us. And we know that the, the fear of failure, the fear of what other people think, the fear of rejection, can we blast it away? All fear that students who follow Jesus are feeling. Because there is no fear in love. Pray that the love of God becomes a greater reality than fear. Now, I would love to get maybe like five people if you want to come up and just agree with that. Binding fear that student leaders, that, that students who are following Jesus are feeling. Can we just get a little line? Just five. First five. I don't want to do more than five. Just want to come against that fear. Maybe, maybe it's something that jumped on you or younger to declare that that fear can be broken. And then we'll pray all together. Let's go. Lord, we just pray for every student that is battling fear that you would just give them courageous spirit, God, the Holy Spirit to just go with them. That any fear of rejection, that they would not care anymore, that they would be obedient, Lord, and that you would bless them for their obedience and that they would never struggle with fear of man again, Lord, that you would just free them completely. Students all across America and all across the world, God. All right, so when we, when we pray up front, when you hear the prayer and it resonates in your spirit, we need to be in agreement. So I want to hear everybody in the room shout out, yes, amen. I know you, I know you believe it, but we got to hear it in your mouth, okay? You guys feel me? All right, let's go. Jesus, I just thank you, God, that fear of man is gone in high schoolers. I thank you, Jesus, that you are raising up bold high schoolers, Jesus, that you have raised up Gen Z to be bold for you, God. I thank you that closet Christianity is gone. Gone are the days, Jesus, that people will be silent and live um, in passivity on their faith. But I thank you, Jesus, for bold Christian Jesus, for bold teenagers, Jesus, that will be unashamed of your word, that will preach your truth, Jesus, that will see salvation flood their high schools. In Jesus' name. Jesus, I just thank you that you gave us authority over fear. Jesus, I pray, Lord, right now that, God, you would begin letting us see ourselves on our, the work we do with the heart you have for us because, Lord, perfect love casts out fear. So, Jesus, we're just praying right now, Lord, that we would have no fear when we go to these campuses. And to the people, Lord, we would have no fear of what they think of us, Jesus, but we would declare that everything else that is not of you is underneath us in the name of Jesus. Right now, under the power and authority in the mighty name of Jesus, we shut the mouth of fear over every single Christian in all these high schools, God. Strike something deep within them, God. Stir such a deep well that it will overflow and overflow, Jesus. Fill up every Christian on those campuses, God. They are not weary, Jesus. They are not alone. With the Spirit of God, strike every single high school right now in Jesus' mighty name. With the face of God appear in every single hallway and every single classroom right now in Jesus name yes father we just want to pray on behalf of all of the high schools in America Lord I want to pray not only for the public schools but the private schools Lord would you just give them no fear of man would you break every shackle of fear of man any religious spirits leave in the name of Jesus Lord would you give them boldness would you give them power and would you give them the authority that you've empowered us with by your Holy Spirit Lord would you come and dream visions and even words of knowledge Lord would you just break off every shackle of fear on all of those kids Lord in Jesus name all right we're gonna sing out a chorus for Mylene let's do it I'm running after you If I look like a fool <laughs> with all my heart, I'm running after you. Come on, come out. on, sing it out, sing and it out. I don't care if I look like a fool with all my heart. I'm running after you. Sing come on, break fear, break fear.
purpose. That, that those who would be afraid to stand out for Jesus and that fear would just be wiped away. And I just think of when you feel fear, truly it's an invitation to be courageous. When you feel like you can't do it, it's an invitation to see that God can do the impossible. So I want to bear down. Can we can we get in pairs or something? And I just I want I want Christians who are on, on high schools and private schools to know it's okay to be weird for Jesus. It's actually really liberating because you're gonna get rejected eventually. So let's just run to that death anyways. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? I'm okay to look like a fool because I'm secure in Christ. Can that reality, can we drive that reality home in the spirit this morning? So let's begin to pray. Let's begin to, right now, students would step out and look foolish for God. Come on, pray all across the room.
verse 9 says, do not be dismayed. Do not be dismayed. The task can look impossible, but when we live by faith, impossible becomes the expectation. Let's ask for an impartation of faith to land on students to reach their entire campus by the end of the school year, all right? So let's ask for faith to come rushing into their lives and their spirits. Can we do that? Come on, I know we got energy. Let's let's turn it towards let's turn it towards prayer. Let's do it. Let's do it. Cry out to the Lord. Impartation of faith.
single high school student in this nation Lord we thank you that you are moving on behalf of every single one of them that you will not leave them you will not forsake them and God we thank you that you are a you are a wall crashing down kind of God and so right now Lord we seal this time of intercession and believe that you are bringing down the walls that are holding your presence from rushing on to high schools that you are tearing down the walls of apathy that you are tearing down the walls of religion, the walls of secular culture. You are bringing them to rubble, God, so that your presence can come rushing in. We agree with your heart, and we thank you that we will be answering these prayers. That many people in this room, can you just go ahead and raise your hand if you're going to be on the Jesus Club tour? Can we just put our hands on those people? Can we surround them right now? Lord, we thank you. We thank you that you have called them to go and be answers to the prayers that we pray today. Thank you that they are going to have the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ on their lips, that it will be proclaimed in classrooms, in gyms, in auditoriums, all across the nation. God, we ask that you would, you would strike their hearts, you would burden their hearts for the lost, for those who are stuck in religion, for those who don't know the totality of who you are, God. We ask that you would anoint them for this task. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Guys, thank you so much for joining us for Greenhouse. I love when we get to sing out the intercession. We did a lot of praying, but we also sang out our prayers, which is my favorite. Thank you for joining us online. Thank you, CRX and Local Squad, for making this an amazing, exciting Tuesday morning. Excited for y'all's class. We'll see you tomorrow, 8 a.m. God bless. <laughs>